a Kapim Togo Ridge. So it's for like an ally. Go all the way into water region, disappear and appear again, and then it goes on and on and on and on. And that is what we so call it's the one con It's one consistent mountain from, from yes. here all the way to Togo? Yes, yes, and it breaks and then enter wow. into Togo, it breaks, then it appears again and enter into Togo. So the highest point of those mountains, the Accra area you see from starting from the Kokrobite area, that is the Accra uh, Cape Coast Road, and then it disappeared. And then it comes again and entered, and then it goes again and all that. So this is what we have. Ghana is almost uh, at the flat country. So we have ridges and few mountains. Until 2021, this road was a toll road. Uh, but the government decided to abolish the toll. Uh, so therefore, you will not be expelled to pay the toll. But you see the toll booth there, but no one mounting it because the government decided to make it a toll free. All the roads in Ghana. So now we don't pay road tolls driving through uh, Wow, so we're definitely not getting more roads fixed anytime faster. <laughs> I mean, that's what the tolls are for, right? Tolls are yes. for roads and also... Yeah. So how is that a solution? <laughs> well, he has brought a solution that they uh, will put it in the mobile uh, money or electronic levy where they'll put some of those monies collected into the road construction. That's when we're about to go up the mountains. We are still in the Accra area, and this town is Ayi Mensa. Ayi Mensa. We are out of Oyarifa. We are in Ayi Mensa. Ayi Mensa simply means Ayi's town. Ayi is a name, a male, or a gang. So Mensa, so that is Ayi Mensa town. This is Ayi Mensa. We are in Ayi Mensa. And this is the unmanned toll booth. Where is the toll booth? Ahead of us coming up uh, is uh, a container. Now all the small ago, the small minivans you see, they are all commercial vehicles or transport, mainly owned by the private people. So the commercial transport business is dominated by the private sector in Ghana. And this are called trotros, T-R-O, T-R-O. In the olden days, they are called trotros because in the olden days, they charged the lowest unit of the Ghanaian currency called tro. But now they are expensive. They are no more trotros, but we still maintain the name trotro. And the sitting capacity depends on the, the size of the bus. So it carries between 12 to 20 people or uh, 18 people. And sometimes, it carries quite a number <laughs> more than the uh, allowed capacity from the DVLA. So we are now entering the Equipem areas of Ghana. Equipems are also sub-tribe of the Akan people. Equipems, they speak the Equipem tree. And it's just like the, the Asante tree and fancy, they all understand each other, but just that a little bit different from here. But there are two people who occupy those uh, mountains. The Equipems, three people, and the Gua Equipems. But they are all Equipems, but they speak two distinctive language on this uh, mountain. That is the people of Edukro, Ebrew, and Latte. They all have their distinctive language. 
they speak apart from the Kwapim tree. So this are a Kwapim people and they inhabit the mountain overlooking Accra. And also one of the, um, in terms of climate, is one of the best areas to inhabit within the Ghanaian territory area. Uh, it's quite cool and they have a very nice weather on the mountain overlooking Accra. Buying a property in this area is quite expensive, especially that overlooks the Accra area. Uh, quite expensive to acquire a land in this part of the country. So you are welcome to the Eastern region. This is the Eastern region and the Eastern region do not only have the Kapims, they have the Dwabin people occupying the capital of the uh, Eastern region, that's Kofuidia. We have the Kwe people also uh, occupying the mountainous area. We have the Krobos also occupying the valley area and others. So it's a mixed region comprising various uh, people and then we have the Akwemus also occupying the Volta River area of the Eastern region that is precisely the Akosumbo Akradi area of the country.